Welcome to Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. And we, we are delighted, before I introduce those that are next to me, but we are delighted that you're here with us. And uh, we have Dove here and we have Sonia. And with that said, our topic for this evening is God said to ask, seek, and knock. Well, last week we had the word X. This week we're having the word seek. And with that said, I'm going to read a scripture and then go forward and let you know what seeking is all about. Again, Matthew 7, 7, 8, ask and it shall be given you, seeking shall find, knock and it shall be opened. In verse 8, for everyone that asks receiveth, and then that seeketh findeth, and him that knocketh it shall be opened. So again, seek, seek. Seek is attempt to find something, attempt or desire to attain or achieve something. Ask for something from someone. The great promise to those who seek the Lord is that he will be found. So if you're seeking God, you can rest assured. He ain't hiding from us. Thank you, Jesus. He, he will be found. If you're seeking, he will be found by you. In 1 Chronicles 28 and, 20, and 28, 9. And when he is found, there's great, great reward. Whoever should draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek in Hebrews 11, 6. He re rewards. There's a reward. For as you seek God, you're, you're bumping into your blessings, favor, wisdom, peace. Oh, my God, an awesome host of wonderful things. God said in Matthew 6, 33, to seek ye his kingdom and his righteousness first, and all these things, what, shall be added to you. God himself is what, again, our greatest reward. And when we have him, we have everything we need. Why? And because it is of great value that all the world's riches, God has got him. He owns the heavens and the earth. He has it all, and we are his children. So when we have him, we have everything we need because of who he and who we are in him. So with that said, I want to just name a few of the benefits of seeking God. Before we go to our break, I'm just going to list those benefits. Number one, we don't have to worry about everything everyone else worries about. God already mm -hmm. said in Matthew 31 through 33. So do not worry. It's a new international version. Do not worry saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans running after all these things, but your heavenly father <laughs> knows all that you need. But seek ye his kingdom and his righteousness, all these things will be given to you. Amen. So we don't, oh, you seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness mm -hmm. first? He said, all these things you have a need of, they will be given to you. I'll make sure yeah. that you get it. However, which way he has to get it to us, we're going to get it. God's ears, number, another one, uh, benefit of seeking. God's ears will be attentive to our prayers. It says in 1 Peter 3 and 12, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Thank God we are loved. We are the washed by the blood, cleansed yes. by the blood, delivered in Jesus' name. Another benefit is we'll be delivered from our fear. Psalms 34, 4, again, it's the New International Version. I sought the Lord. He answered me. He delivered me from all, not some. You know, some people give you some stuff. No, but God says all, 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 all your fears. Another one is we will be strengthened. 2 Chronicles 16, 9, for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully, fully committed to him. Eyes of the Lord are looking for us and those who are fully committed. And last not but least, another benefit, and this is just a few. These are not all of them. You can rest on that one. Jeremiah 20, 29, 13, New International Version again. You will seek me and find me. And when you seek me with what? All your heart. So with that said, we're going to go on a break and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about seeking the Lord. God bless you. Join us every Tuesday at 5 p.m. for Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We're going to be speaking on different topics because we know that Satan comes to steal, 
rob, and destroy. And the word comes to heal, deliver, free, bless, prosper, all these great and awesome, wonderful things that we should be experiencing and we should have now because we are seated in heavenly places. And when we begin to receive it by faith, and then we know that Satan's what? Satan's best? best. Just, Just not good, good enough. enough. Well, welcome back. And again, we are talking about what? Seeking, seeking, seek. You know, the word of God says that we're to ask, seek, and knock. And if we ask, it will be answered. If we seek, we can find him. And of course, our next show will be on knock. And he will open. With that said, we're going to talk about seek again. So, ladies, how do you know that you are truly truly seeking the Lord, his kingdom first. And what does that mean to you? How do you seek God? How do you seek God? How do you find God to that place where you're seeking him and he can be found? How did you seek him and realize, oh my God, you're experiencing him in a way that you never knew that you could ever know that this thing is real, that God is real. He's not up there in the Sweet high sky, and he's right there with us, the greater one that's in us. Like it says, how do, how do you seek the Lord to grow, to increase in his love, his wisdom, his word, his ways? How do you seek the Lord and know that you know that, hey, I'm a child of God. I'm not even worried. I'm not in fear. All my needs are met. Yeah, I'm healed. I'm blessed. I'm prosperous. You may not look any of it, but it don't matter because that's where you go. And that's what you're Amen. becoming. And that's who you are. Amen. Amen. So how do you see? First of all, I'll say that's my favorite scripture. Amen. Matthew 6, 33. Seek him. Because the Lord gave that to me years ago, I think, because I was just looking at everything else. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I wasn't really putting him first. And it really, as the more and more I kept reciting it and reciting it, and reciting it, and put in my heart mm -hmm. that, okay, take my focus off those things. And so when I seek the Lord, when I really get in his face and I seek just his presence, mm -hmm. just the, just who he is, not what he does for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. there's a peace that I feel that I'm overwhelmed with. There is a certainty and assurance mm -hmm. that whatever my desires are, mm -hmm. he's got me. Got you. Got me. Mm -hmm. And it, like a couple weeks ago, I got into looking at stuff. I want my flooring done. I want to get the carpet up. My gate is falling. And you know, all these things mm. was going on. I was getting excited, watching HGTV all the oh, time. Lord. And what I was doing, I didn't realize I was idling those things. Ah. I had was so overwhelmed mm. and just kept thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it, you know, all down to what color I want the, my walls. Oh, that's not the right color. It was it was bad, and oh. I, it's I got easily mm -hmm. drawn and out of focus right. from God, and I had to repent from mm -hmm. that. And I said, God, I'm sorry because I shouldn't worry about these things. Right. I really shouldn't worry about these things. And there was things that I desired that God made work anyways, His way, you know. But then I just started just really getting in the Word, really seeking His face, really just saying, God, I'm mm. grateful mm. for what you've already done. God. I'm grateful that you already taken care of me. Mm -hmm. Every time when I feel there's lack, you bless us in mm -hmm. some kind of way. And it was just giving me peace. And it settled my spirit and it quieted my mm -hmm. spirit. I started sleeping better because mm -hmm. I wasn't up like, oh, God, I can't do that pink color. That's how right. oh, <laughs> so yeah. I can get Distracted. very detailed and stuff right. that when I'm on, on mm -hmm. a, a tangent, I can right. be on oh, a yeah. tangent. Right. Focus and then just, is off on, yeah, on that. It was so off focus. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just, God, forgive me. Forgive mm -hmm. me. But I'm grateful that he's, he's so gracious and merciful. It's like, oh, it's okay. You know, it's just, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, you know I, I know he understands the desires, sure. but he's like, I, I know that your desire is to please me. You want better for your house, sure. your children. So it, it was something that I didn't get in condemnation, but I got back up and I got in his presence. I've just been a l very still in, in my, my spirit. It's been very quiet and just calm. Mm -hmm. so. Amen. 
was to let your request be known unto the Lord. Yes. And leave it, and leave <laughs> exactly. it there. Exactly. Just <laughs> leave it there. You know, make it into a whole vision of the day and, and you yes. know, uh, distracted. And that's mm -hmm. what the enemy does. He'll just try to distract you. And, and it's like you said, not, not you know, sinful or bad. Mm -hmm. It's just very subtle yes. type of a uh, yeah. way that the enemy uses to, to get you off uh, sight. See, you know, seeking the kingdom and right. his righteousness first. Amen. So yes. God will kind of lead you and guide you to, or will give you that time to wait in, in patience and in his proper way, in his proper time. You know, might be a sale that's coming on two weeks or three weeks from now. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you get ready to purchase and God said, I got better for you. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 You know? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, with me, it was. Um, like, again, I, I go back to the very beginning of what I didn't understand a whole lot, you know, and after I got the res revelation that I was worthy enough to ask, I was righteous and all like that, um, I didn't quite understand how to seek God, mm -hmm. okay? And um, it wasn't until uh, I wanted to change. I, I, I didn't like who I was, mm -hmm. but I wanted to be all that God had me to be, but yet I didn't know what that was. Mm -hmm. And then I did not. I didn't learn it until I started sitting in His presence, and still I started seeking His face instead of His hand. Mm -hmm. Because I heard this this uh, pastor say one time: when you start seeking God's face, you seek who He is. You seek an intimacy, mm -hmm. intimacy of who He is. If you just seek His hands, you're just asking for provisions and mm -hmm. everything else. But when you seek His face, He reveals to you mm -hmm. who He is. And then he can reveal to you who you are. Mm -hmm. And that stuck with me. And I cried when I when when I was listening to that pastor because that was revelation to me. Yeah, sure. Because Absolutely. nobody ever, you know, all I ever heard was I was this, I was that, no good, you know, all like this. But God said there's a purpose and plan for me and all and everything. So I started realizing, okay, Lord, I'm not gonna ask so much for things I want to ask you. I want to know who you are. I want you to reveal yourself to me. I want to see who you are. I want to see a father. Mm -hmm. That was one of my biggest desires. And yet at the same time, he said he'd give us the desires of our heart, mm -hmm. right? right? That was a desire in me that I really wasn't thinking about, you know, and when I started seeking him, that desire welded up. You've never had a father. Mm -hmm. I want to be your father. And I cried a whole lot in my beginning. <laughs> I did hey. because he was just pulling things out. He was showing me that that when I seek him, that he shows me who he created me to be. Amen. And I knew, I knew that I was seeking the right thing then. Right. I was seeking, and I started changing. Mm -hmm. And then when I started changing, my circumstances started changing because my mindset started changing. And every time I sought him, his face, he would always give me the love I never had. Well, that's the goal that uh, yeah. the Lord really wants us to reach is the becoming like him, yeah. being who we are in him. Mm -hmm. And the only way we're going to get that is to seek him because we don't mm -hmm. really know until we seek him in prayer. We seek him in his word. We seek him in fellowship. We seek him in praise. We seek him in worship. We seek him in silence. We seek him in just having our mind renewed. We've got to have our mind renewed to even get his thoughts. Because when he wants to give you thoughts, you want to make sure that you're not receiving a, a, a false thought. You know, mm -hmm. so, and yes. he comes yes. in like an angel of light. Yes. Right. You know, mm -hmm. see That's good, Pastor. So yes. therefore, the, you have to know your mind. You have to know the word of God, not the whole Bible, but, you know, be led by the Holy Spirit as yeah. to what you need to start meditating on, mm -hmm. muttering and speaking out loud. I always read the word out loud mm -hmm. so I can, you know, that word it, you, it's you, uh, faith cometh by hearing. You build up your own faith, in, you know, as you read the word out loud. But seeking him, like I said, it comes in you can fast, you mm -hmm. can, uh, all kinds of ways, but we seek God, all kinds of ways. And some days you just, you ain't, you know, you ain't being led to fast. Like, <laughs> yes. Like, yes. Day, yes. You, know, you might want to just sit, you, you just listening to the word. That's seeking yes. him. Mm -hmm. you just having a conversation with the Lord, maybe while you're driving. That's mm -hmm. seeking Amen. him. Amen. You're yes. praying in yes. tongues. That's seeking him. 
<laughs> you're just having a nice, friendly discussion with your best beat. Was it BBF? BFF. 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 <laughs> Whatever it is. We know what you meant. <laughs> you're just having a Holy Ghost good time conversation. Yes. That's kind of seeking the Lord because you're yes. extracting yes. the the wisdom or the understanding or the knowledge from another person because mm. every joint yes. does supply. Yes. Because so, I, I listen to people when they talk and there's things that they say that just edifies and builds and encourages me mm. that I, I needed to hear. So God knows who to use, how to use them, and the way to use them. So we have to have ears to hear, eyes to see, a mouth to speak, and feet to take the good news where we need to take it, Amen. you know? So really, with that said, in regards to um, we have to watch as we're seeking, we have to watch what's coming into our eyes, yes, that's good. Yes. what's coming into our ears. Yes. You know, we don't have to be 24-7, oh, God, God, but watch what you're watching. Watch what you're listening to. Amen. Watch what you're reading. Watch what you're even going to, because these things get in your spirit. And we are a spirit in a body that possesses a soul. And it says, even again, even as our soul prospers, we will be in what? In good health. That's a promise. That's right. So that's the case. Okay, Lord, how do I get my soul to prosper? Well, I'm seeking you. God's going to give you little nuggets, a little here, a little there. He's going to give you what you need. Yes, amen. Going, lead you and guide you into it so anything else ladies before i close it up and close it out i think you know very well good well one. with that yeah. said i just want to end it off basically again to remind everyone of the benefits of seeking i'm not going to read the scripture i'm just going to read the benefit again and the benefits of seeking God and his kingdom and his righteousness first, seeking him, is number one. We don't have to worry. And like I said, this is just a few. This is not even, if you look up the word seek, you'll find lots and lots of scriptures on seek. Because God that's, wants us to seek him. So we don't have to worry about everything everybody else is worrying about. He's attentive to our prayers. And God knows when we pray, we should be able to know that when we pray, we say we have the confidence to know that we will receive that which we ask for. Because we're not asking a myth. Uh, we're not asking on our own lusts and ways. We're asking according to the will of God. And when you have an intimate and a personal relationship with the living God, after a while, you don't want anything else but what does say it for yes. Your whole yeah. heart and your whole desire is just, God, whatever it is that you have for my life. Yes. I just yield to your spirit. I surrender to your ways. I trust you. Show me the way. God is not a uh, 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 somebody who's going to you know, bring us hurt and harm and danger and try and teach us a lesson and oh, put yes. us in the hospital and all that crazy, 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 crazy talk. Yes. Some people thought, well, you put me in the hospital, show me, ain't showing you nothing. No. <laughs> he, he'll rescue, give you grace, and give you yes. some good doctors, get you yes. out of here. Yeah, amen. Yes. But you got to know God personally and intimately to know how good and great and powerful and awesome and caring and kind he is. Yes, he also can, you know, could be a God of wrath, but that's not his plan and purpose for his people. Just like your parents, they ain't trying to uh, discipline you when you're being good and you're doing what's right and you're obeying them. All they want to do is bless you and reward you. I'm Amen. talking about good parents. I'm not talking about this dysfunctional stuff going on. <laughs> So I'm getting lost in my thing. I'm just <laughs> ending it off on the benefits here. Uh, again, God's ears will be attentive to our prayers, and we will be delivered from all our fears. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. No more fear. <coughs> Hallelujah. Fear. fear. Perfect love casts out all fear. Amen. And last but not least, Jeremiah 29, 13, it says, God will be found. God will Amen. be found. So we seek him. We already know we ain't got to worry about nothing. He will be found. He will answer our prayers. He's attentive to our prayers because, again, when we're seeking him, we're probably not going to wind up asking him for anything other than what his will, plan, and pleasure and purpose is for our very lives because we know that he's a good God with a great plan, and what he has for us is not to hurt us, harm us, devastate us, or traumatize us. It's to bless us, to prosper us, to liberate us, to deliver us, to free us so that we can be the voice. We can be the hands. 
Jesus. We can be the feet. Yeah. We can be all that God has called us to be uh, according to his plan, purpose, pleasure, and his will in this earth to bring kingdom on this earth as is done in heaven. It will be brought down into this earth through a yielded, mm -hmm. surrendered vessels of honor, meat for the master's use. And that's who we are. Mm -hmm. That's who we are. It's not anything but God in us doing a great work through us as we yield to his spirit, surrender to his ways, trust him and obey and know that there's no hope in this world system, but our hope is in a living God, a holy God, a righteous God, the God who owns it all and is it all, a God who owns the heavens and the earth and the creator of his people. Thank you. God bless you.